Welcome back. It's time for 3 News Now. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, Steph. Hello, Laura and Isabel. We have a very musical segment for you today. Now, if you don't mind taking a little road trip or maybe a quick flight, you'll be able to get tickets this week to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 2023 induction ceremony. Now, as a reminder, performers being inducted this year include Kate Bush, Cheryl Crow, Missy Elliott, George Michael, Willie Nelson, Rage Against the Machine, and The Spinners. And the Musical Influence Award recipients are DJ Cool Herc and Link Ray. This year's Musical Excellence Awards go to Shaka Khan, Al Cooper, and Bernie Taupin. And the Ahmet Eric Gunn Award will go to Don Cornelius. Now, that induction ceremony is less than two months away on Friday, November 3rd at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Those tickets go on sale to the general public at 10 a.m. this Friday, September 8th, so set your alarms now. And it was a real bummer when this summer's Luke Bryan concert at the Bash on the Bay Music Fest was canceled because of storms. But we have something to look forward to now because organizers have announced one of the headliners for next year's show at Putin Bay. Southern rock and country megastar Hardy is headlining night two. That's on Thursday, August 22nd. Now, if you listen to country music, you probably know his single, Wait in the Truck. And he's written number one hits for people like Florida Georgia Line, Chris Lane, and Blake Shelton. Now, here's what you need to know if you had tickets you didn't get to use this year. You can convert your 2023 Luke Bryan tickets to go see Hardy if you pay the price difference. You can also get a full refund for your Luke Bryan tickets. Or you can hold on to your Luke Bryan tickets until they announce the day one schedule for next year. See if you want to swap for those shows. Or if not, ask for a refund then. Whatever you do, you'll need to contact the seller you bought them through to do it. All right, now it's time for our question of the day. In light of Jimmy Buffett passing from skin cancer, we want to know, how do you protect yourself from the sun's harmful rays? We want you to post your comment to the WKYC Facebook page and in the 3 News in the Afternoon Facebook group, and then we'll talk about it during 3 News at 5. And I want to give a shout-out to my niece right now, Laura and Isabel, because she got me wearing sunscreen every single day. I wish I had started sooner, but it's something I've been doing for at least the last few years. And what SPF? 50. It? SPF 50 wow. for me that's every great. day. Okay, wow, that's good. Um, I wear a 30, sometimes a 15. Um, so there's that. Sometimes nothing. <laughs> I gotta. I have to get, gotta get, I, get I know. regular on it. And I like lather Jackson up head mm -hmm. to toe with a hat and like covered, so I need to get on that one. You need to get on that yes. program too, Mama, when I you're know. putting it on him. You're it's right. It's important, yeah. But I will say too, because my parents live in South Florida now, so they're out in the sun all the time. They're avid golfers. Yeah. And despite the heat, my mom is really good about it. She wears long sleeves when she's golfing. She has a huge sun hat just to try to mitigate sun exposure. Yeah. And they go to their dermatologist probably once or twice a year to do annual Isabel's skin Isabel's parents checks. are on top of yeah, it. They, they are on top, top of it. Of it. So, I should learn from them. You know, Your mom, yeah. we could all. And she's aging so beautifully. She, so. <laughs> I did see her a few weeks ago, and she is. This is true. Yeah, so All right, Steph, good question. You have us talking. Of course. We'll talk about it more at 5. All right. Sounds good.